Today we heard how Nicodemus asked Jesus what he needed to do to show that he loved God. Jesus explained that we need to show God that we love him by accepting him as our saviour. That means we need to change. Changes are happening all the time. Some of us like change, others feel anxious. But if a caterpillar never changed, it wouldn't become a butterfly and show the splendour and beauty that God had planned for it. If we don't accept that God wants us to change and love him, the plan that he has for us to have eternal life and live with him forever will never be fulfilled. To make the butterfly mobile, you will need to have several things at your disposal. I suggest you get them ready before you start. It could be messy. The first thing you will need are some A4 sheets of paper or card. I chose a range of different colours, but you could just use white. You will also need the shape of a butterfly. I printed one from the internet. I found that easiest. You'll want a piece of card to make a template, paint, and then some wool or string to mount your mobile. The first thing I did was fold my butterfly in half and then place it on a piece of card and cut it out so that I made a template. Here's the one I did earlier. I then took one of my pieces of paper and folded it lengthways. Then place your butterfly on the fold and draw round it. The half a butterfly means that when you cut out your final butterfly, the one you have will be symmetrical. To have butterflies the size that I had, you can get two on your A4 sheet. If you want them smaller, that's fine. Just download a smaller one from the internet. Do that on four pieces of paper. I use different coloured ones. So I folded different ones and then drew my butterflies up to the fold. Then you need to take some paint and this is where it could become messy. If the weather's nice, perhaps you could do it outside to save getting into trouble. You probably remember as a little one that at preschool and nursery, you had the chance to do the squidgy painting where you put some paint on one side of the fold, several different colors, and then when you've got the colours you want blobbed on any old how, you will be folding the paper. When you fold the paper and squash and squeeze, the paint will transfer to the other half of the page, giving you a symmetrical pattern. I've here used yellow, red and blue. Folded it over and then rubbed and squeezed so that the paint inside the fold spreads out. When I open it, I can see that I've got some pretty patterns. You then need to put this aside to dry. Repeat that with your other pieces of paper so that you've got four pieces in total. That will give you eight butterflies. Otherwise, you can make nine if you want to put the reference for the memory verse on a ninth one. When your page has dried, you will cut out along the lines that you drew for your template. And then you will have your butterfly shape to work with. You need eight or nine of these. 
I then took a black pen and drew on the body of the butterfly. It's up to you whether you want to do something like that or whether you're happy just with the colours of the paint. When you've got eight or nine dry butterflies, you will need to stick on the memory verse. Before I started, I printed the memory verse on the computer. For the butterflies I used of half A4 sheets, I used Comic Sans size 36. I wrote it out and then printed it and cut it into the nine sections to stick on my butterflies. When they're all dry, stick on using either prick stick or PVA glue across each butterfly. It's up to you how you decide to display the butterflies. You could arrange them on the tiles in the kitchen if your parents are happy with that. You might want to make them go a, a banner going across from left to right. Or you might want to do what I've done and put them so that they come down. And then you need to display them somewhere that is it's obvious to you and those in your house to remind you how much God loves us. Enjoy and don't make too much mess. <laughs>